Hi, I'm Bill Black from Spirit River. I'm here today to show you how to tie a stimulator. Randall Kaufman came up with this pattern many years ago. I think he based it off of an um, improved sofa pillow. It's basically a stone fly, dry fly imitation. Um, here's one that I just tied. It's really actually quite a fun fly to tie. It's got some elk hair in it. It's got some dubbing. There's a lot of very good basic techniques in this fly. It's easy to do. It takes a little while, but it is a fun fly. Anyway, let's show you how to tie this fly. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to start with our glasses on our face so we can see. We're going to put a hook in the vise. Make sure it's in there really nice and strong. You don't want that slipping out and slapping those jaws together of this vise because it's hardened steel and you'll break it. So you always wrap over the top and you go down and create a base of thread. The reason for that is you don't want your fly slipping around. Okay, and I'm going to go back again. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a little tail out of elk hair. So this is a little piece of elk hair. And I'll go in here and I'll clip just a little bit of hair. I strip out a lot of this junk. There's always kind of like this little fur in there. You want to get that out. Okay. You can take a stacker like this, drop your material in and stack it, and it'll come out nice and even. But a real quick way I've learned over the years is just put your fingers in a little triangle like this, and you can kind of stack it right there against the palm of your hand. It's not quite as perfect sometimes as a stacker, but you could sure do pretty darn good with it. This is how we used to do it years ago before somebody invented the stacker. Okay, so I'm going to want this tail sticking. I want the thread hanging to the barb of the hook. I want this tail sticking off about one, maybe a little bit longer than that hook gate. Okay, now I just kind of measured it. You saw me measure it. I'm going to clip it. I'm going to go around two or three times and I'm going to pull it tight. See that hair flare there? Now I'm going to look to see if I need to unwind it. It's a little long. I do need to unwind it. I think I need to just okay now what we've done there is we've created a nice little tail it's kind of flared on me a little bit but it's not too bad and I'm going to go ahead and take a little piece of wire and this is what we're going to use um, when we wrap the hackle forward so you'll see that in a minute I'm going to go ahead and wrap all the way back to the tail again. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit of dubbing. Now I've nipped the edge off of that like that. And you can pull this material out. This is our company's uh, dubbing material called Fine and Dry. It's probably the finest material on the market. See how I tease it out with my thumb and fingers? Then I twist it only one direction. I don't go back and forth. I only go one way. And now the idea is to hide that black thread and to build a nice dubbed body. You want to work this up to about uh, Maybe just a little bit farther than that. I'd say about two-thirds of the body, I think. Now, I've already selected the hackle, but what you want to do with your hackle is you want to put a brown hackle that goes across this body. And to select the size, because you're going to have a couple sizes in your kit, put it underneath and make sure that it comes down to about the point of the hook. Okay, clip off any funky end to it. Take your thumbnail, strip it out a little bit. That gives you a quill to tie into. Take one loose wrap over that quill and then cinch it up. Now I'm going to start wrapping this back and I try to keep each wrap nice and even. And then I'm going to take this wire And this wire is going to go around 
about four or five times and that's really going to lock that hackle, that feather down on that body. Notice when I cut my uh, wire I cut it with the base of my scissors. I don't want to hurt these uh, the tips of my scissors. I go in and clip that, trim any loose hairs. Still got a few. There we go. So now we got a tail, we got a body, your hackle goes back over it, and it's ribbed. Next, we're going to put another wing on. This is going to be a little bit bigger wing. So here's the wing material. I'm going to clean out the base of that. Normally I'd bang it on the table here, but it makes a lot of noise and everything would go flying. And you can see how nice and even that is. And you want to grab it and try not to mess with it too much or you'll mess up all those pretty little ends. So now you want this to come to about the end of the hook. So right there is where I'm measuring it. I'm going to go in and take a few wraps and cinch that down like that. Now it's flared a little bit on me. That's okay. I'm going to go back loosely. And if you go back loose without applying a lot of pressure, see how I've got that hair to kind of more conform to that body? I've gone ahead and grabbed a grizzly, which is the black and white hackle. Strip that out. I tie that in. Then I take the orange, and this is kind of a, a thorax. this three times. Actually, I guess I'll get it four. Then I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. I'm going to bring my scissors down nice and tight. Make sure you don't clip your thread. Then I'll take my thumbnail and I'll push all of that back. And I'm going to create the head of this fly and you want a nice little bullet shaped head. That also gives me the room oops, gives me the room to do a whip finish. And what I like to do for the finish, voila, is I put a drop of super glue on that thread so it never comes undone. Nothing worse than having a fly fall apart on you. It's a sign of a cheap fly. And there you have it. Um, go back in and always trim it up. This is a stimulator. It's a dry fly. It catches fish. Please support Spirit River and our fly tying materials and all of our flies through better dealers throughout the country. We appreciate your support. Uh, my family appreciates your support. I hope you enjoy fly tying and I hope I've been a help to you. Take care. Thanks.